Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Sagittarius. Happy birthday Sagittarius. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your energy. Sagittarius, mm -hmm. looking at your energy here, I have the Eight of Swords, upright. We have the Hermit Reverse, we have the King of Swords, um, upright, and we have Page of Pentacles, upright. We'll be using these if we need to. Looks like we might to. Uh -uh. Anyway, Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like you guys might be uh, experiencing some sort of anxiety in a situation where you feel trapped. I feel like you're stuck in a relationship where you kind of want to walk away from it. You know, I'm not going to say kind of. You guys do want to walk away from this relationship, but it's too much work. You don't feel like working that hard. You don't feel like having the argument. You don't feel like taking a risk because... Even though my relationship is miserable, or even though I feel like I'm trapped and there's no way out, it's kind of self-imprisonment in a sense because everybody has a choice to do something. Okay, now, some of you guys exist in relationships, you're feeling trapped. I feel like some of you guys who got out of this, well, something like this recently, or just you got out of some relationship where you felt trapped, now you're free. This is for the other set of you. But I kind of feel like with you guys, you're like, you know what? I'm more inclined to just kind of like stay by myself and figure some stuff out. I don't really want to be bothered with what's going on in the outside world because I'm kind of doing my own thing. I'm kind of going within. I'm trying to understand why things are going on the way they're going on. So I see that here. So with that said, if we were to go back to the Eight of Swords here, this card is telling us that some of you guys are scared to become vulnerable in a new relationship. I, I don't want to expose who I am. I don't want to have to explain everything all over again. I don't want to do this. So any way you put it, right, for some of you guys to get out of this energy um, of feeling trapped in an existing relationship, you know, you have to take a step to get out, but it's too much work. I also see here for those of you guys who are single and wanting to get into a connection, again, it's too much work. So with that said, I see the Hermit card. This indicates... The Hermit Reverse indicates that there's some kind of fear of moving forward, right? There's some refusal to look at yourself because you did contribute to the demise of some situations in your life. And I think in some some respect, you could be saying, um, yeah, I, I'm not doing that. I, I'm not responsible for that. So some of you guys refuse to take a look at yourself, okay? Some of you guys could have been isolated for way too long after a relationship or after something that was uncomfortable happened to you. So I see you guys being confined or isolated for way too long, and now it's time to come out of this energy. But again, the challenge is, hey, if I come out of this because I don't want to be alone, I kind of want to be with somebody, I want to open up to somebody, but it's too much work. So for some of you guys, it's just easier for you to stay in this mode, right? Now, um, this card is Virgo. We have swords here. This is air energy as well, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And I see Virgo here so far. We also have the King of Swords here. Now, the King of Swords, in this respect, talks about a partner who's wise and they're intelligent. They're charming in their communications. And they would have a rational romance. I kind of feel like this is um, some of you guys after you come out of Hermit Energy. But for the most part, I feel like this is a new person because I do have Page of Pentacles upright. That talks about prospects and love, a new relationship. It's going to be a stable kind of a union. It's going to be a person that you'll be able to explain everything to. I'm going to be able to talk to you and open up to you. All right. So I kind of feel like with you guys, there is some person that you're going to come across. It's going to be a new connection. It's going to be a mature relationship. This person is like at the beginning stages of what it is they want to achieve in their life. So this person could be younger. This person could have started a new business. This person could have started a new job. Whatever's going on here. But this person is somebody who you guys are going to be able to trust. This person is stable. This person uh, has a desire to win, achieve something. All right? So all the qualities that you're actually looking for, you're going to come across. For those of you guys who need to step outside your shell, I feel like this is, these are the qualities that you're looking for. And some of you guys are just going to meet this person after coming out of a relationship with somebody. And you're going to meet somebody who could be a possible prospect for you, who is trustworthy and stable. I think at this point, Sagittarius, that's what you're looking forward to. You're looking to have somebody who is stable. Um, again, yep, okay. So again, this is, this is really, we have air here again. But then we also have earth here. So we have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And then we have Virgo showing up with the Hermit. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. I do want to ask about this relationship, though. Hold on. There's a relationship here. 
I'm trying to figure out why. Why do you feel trapped, Sagittarius? <clears throat> why is there an energy here feeling trapped with this energy or in a relationship? What's going on with that? Why do you feel trapped? Let me shuffle this. Why do you feel trapped? Why do you feel trapped in a relationship? Okay. I feel like we have six of wands energy here. I feel like you didn't have success in some kind of a situation here. All right. Now, I'm not sure if this might have to do with the communication, some bad memories, but there's this card generally talks about some sort of a reward for recognition. I feel like somebody didn't give you the credit you deserved in a relationship for the contributions. I'm not trying to be funny, but that's just that's where I see it. Tell me more. Tell me more about why they felt trapped because still, okay, I also feel, okay, because you're staying with somebody who most likely uh, did something. This could be an air sign. We also have more fire here, so that's you. And this could be an air sign because air signs keep coming up. We have three of swords here, affairs of the heart. This could be heartbreak, divorce, depression. Some of you guys could have had surgery, but I feel like somebody let you down in a relationship. All right, and you feel stuck now. Why are you stuck? I need to understand you're stuck with somebody put you in a third party and you feel stuck it because you still love this person. Like, what's up? I see heavy air here. Hold on, heavy air, again. heavy air. Three of swords. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. So we have the magician. So this is somebody, the magician card, is telling us that this is somebody else who's focused on turning their visions into, like, reality. So I'm, I'm destined on, and let me just see, hold on. Let me see. Because y'all know I ain't good at, uh, hold on, because I just did this, actually. Me and all my, uh, my research papers, I know I'm a mess, right? Okay. <sighs> Aries. Sagittarius, you, maybe, I don't know if you put somebody in a third party, if somebody put you in a third party, something having to do with an Aries, or it could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or air. So I feel like, I feel like you, I'm going to put it this way, let me, let me clarify that. I feel like you, Sagittarius, were in a third party with somebody who could have been an air sign, so it could have been you and an Aries. Two fire signs. I'm just saying. Okay. Ooh. Let me just. I know. I, I'm sorry. Listen. I got chalk. This is how we do over here. This is why no fancy nails. Because I'm always doing something. I'm painting. I'm chalking it up. Um, And I hate sitting in salons. I find that quite annoying. Now I do. I just. I used to sit in one. I'm not. I'm sorry. I ain't got. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So yeah. I'm just. Not fine. All right. Tell me why Sagittarius is in Hermit. Tell me why Sagittarius is in Hermit. I want to know. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Did you do this, Sagittarius? Did you put somebody in the third party and now you don't want to? You don't want to look at yourself and what you've done. I see Knight of Wands. Uh huh. So maybe you're gonna, maybe you took this time away so you could get away from this, this type of uh, way. Something about maybe changing your lifestyle. Maybe you went from being out there or whatever, and now you decide I'm gonna take a minute back and, and go into solitude about something. That's kind of what I'm feeling with you guys. I feel like you're taking a step back from something. All right. Now, at the end of the day, you do fear being alone. Hold on. Give me one more. Why are these co okay five of cups so all right you guys have some loss and regret over something that happened in the past with somebody is what i'm seeing okay it may be this could have been a water sign i have water and i also have fire fire and water so you could have done something or be upset this is water energy so you could just be upset over losing something having to do with uh maybe you weren't the choice maybe it was somebody else that this person chose over you i kind of feel like that too or maybe you feel like in a situation there's somebody who feels more important than you all right now when i look at the king of swords this is a partner of highly intelligent tell me about that mm. having a lot on my shoulders i'm stressed out i'm exhausted i think you guys just want to walk away from this situation we have five of pentacles this talks about 
Um, some of you guys maybe had to take off on your own and move out of some kind of a situation with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Mm -hmm. You felt like somebody was hiding something from you. This is Pisces energy, moon. Okay. Now, the sun card. At the end of the day, what's going to happen during all this stuff that we just pointed out right here? All these, these cards kind of tell the story about what happened, I think. And I feel like the current feeling here is like where we are today. Right now, it's going to be something new for me, right? It's going to be Page of Pentacles. There's something that is going to be new. All right? It could be a new love, which when I look at this card, it does talk about prospects. It talks about new love. Now, there might be some delays in new love because I feel like you guys are still trying to figure something out. But we do have the sun card. There's going to be a delay here while you figure things out because I think you're still trying to figure out the things that were hidden from you. So with the sun card reversed, yes, there's going to be happiness. There's going to be material happiness. There's going to be just joyous outcomes, right? But I feel like there's going to be a delay here. The sun is never a bad card. The sun. Oh my goodness. Aries again. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what that means, guys. But I do want to know about the third party. Mm. Sorry. It's your month. We might as well make it messy, right? Let's see what's going on. Let's illuminate and expose. Ooh, what happened in this situation with the third party? Ooh, clarify. Somebody was carrying on. Mm hmm. I wonder who did it. Was it you, Sagittarius? I feel like you might have lost a water sign or something, too. I feel like you had choices, or I don't know. I, I don't want to say. I don't know. It just looks like you're in regret. I see a couple of energies here, but it's not really. I think this is just the emotions, but there was trouble with the emotions where you feel like you lost something or you were abandoned or somebody doesn't love you. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. I feel like that's your current energy. But didn't I ask what happened? Oh, we, okay, so you promised abundance, it looks like. That's a good thing. And we did talk about ma uh, material and joyous outcomes. But I want to know what happened in this story. Lightning. Oh, that was reversed. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Okay. I feel like you guys found out somebody was stepping out on you. There's a third-party relationship here, and I think it caught you by surprise. You were stabbed in the back by somebody. Uh, the type of pain that you were in. It was heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. And you deceived me. Shocking attack. It's reversed. So I feel like I feel like you guys were just, oof. Something hit you. Or either this, either you, or somebody did this to you or you did this to them. And I feel like because they're reversed, I feel like this is energy that you're accepting and coming out of. Give me one more. Okay. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the problem is here. You're still in love with somebody who uh, stepped out on you. And I'm finding Sagittarius, somebody who uh, put you last in some situation and decided they were going to do whatever they wanted to do with other folk or have other options and make it obvious to you. You're still in love with this person. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. What happened here with the Five of Cups? Mm -hmm. Taking some time to go. I think you guys are um, recovering or I want to say healing from something that happened here, some loss that you had. Healing heart. Yup. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yep. Some of you guys could have some addictions too. But you're freeing yourself from them. Give me one more for the moon, please. What was hidden? What was hidden, please? What was hidden for Sagittarius, please? I don't know why he keeps doing that. Separation. Mm. Separation, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Okay. Something was hidden from you. There's a separation. I'm unsure of the future, so you're still entertaining this person. Hold on. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. We do see loss and regret with the Five of Cups. Give me one more, please. Give me one more. Help me understand what is going on here. Give me one, please, for Page of Pentacles, Prospects. Tell me about this. I want to know. I'm going to shuffle. Give me an honest answer about the outcome. Is this a new person or is this somebody from the past? Or could this just be a choice between those two lives? Staying where I am and where I want to go. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Hmm. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest. I feel like you guys are still manifesting somebody from the past. 
And that's why there are going to be delays in this new romance if you decide to hang out with this new person. Because you're not sure if that's what you want yet. I feel like some of you guys are still waiting for somebody to come back or for some situation to get better. That's what I feel here when I look at this. I do think if, if you guys opt, like if you guys are the single, decide to become vulnerable, you're going to have a, a decent outcome with somebody. But there are going to be some delays until you fully get over this situation. You either fully embrace it or fully let it go. So I feel like you guys that are in insistent relationships have the challenge of trying to figure out why am I still in love with somebody who put me in a third party? Why can't I let this person go? And then I feel like the guys that are single, you guys are like, okay, I'm single, but I just, I came out, I just got out of the fire. Like I can't even, I don't want to go back in that again. So you guys are having issues being vulnerable and opening up to somebody new, which might also create delays. Okay. Now, let me just take one more Sagittarius. I'm going to pull one of these. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? Or what do I need to know about Sagittarius and love? These are romance angels. Uh, oh, yeah, also a star and moon, tarot, romance angels. Uh, and, and I don't know, these purple ones. You know, they're really popular. The per I don't know what the name of them. I don't know what the box is underneath somewhere, but you guys seen them before. All right. Um, give me some information for Sagittarius. What do they need to know about love? What do they need to know about love? Soulmate. Yes. Whoa. Woo. Tell me about that. Yes, this is your soulmate. Now, this card does play out across both scenarios. So if you're in an existing relationship and you're in love with somebody who puts you in a third party, then I guess this is your soulmate. And maybe you want to work things out for you other guys. I know I totally said that wrong. But for everybody else, <laughs> for everybody else, I just kind of feel like if you do come across this new person, this person is your soulmate might not want to let that person go this is a person that we're talking about who's going to be able to talk with you understand you accept you for who you are it's a new relationship and this person is also trying to get to where they want to be too right so i think both of you guys are struggling in different ways but there's an element of peace and understanding here that you most likely did not get because you felt trapped okay that's all i got for you guys oh wait is it it's your birthday, and I at least need to pull. Let me pull one of these. I'm going to pull, you know what? I wish abundance for your birthday. So I'm going to do divine abundance. I'm going to do divine abundance, okay? Divine abundance oracle cards. And I'm standing up. I'm about to sit down. Whew. All right, let's see what we have. How can Sagittarius gain divine abundance in their life? How can they gain divine abundance in their life? Flow. Allow me to flow. Allow me divine to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. You guys might get a little bit too worked up about things. Calm down and let things flow like water. So you know how you try and get inside the water and you're trying to swim as fast as you can but your arms just won't go they go with the flow of water so i need you to practice that type of energy all right now we have that one more please one more oh okay it came out reverse but outrageous openness dear love Open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed. I am an open, wait, I am open to receive. Now, it came out reverse, so maybe you guys are struggling with that. So what you guys need to do is kind of release some things, the attachments, the codependency that came up, needing to be with this person day and night or whatever. Decide what's really good for you, all right? And just have faith in a plan. Okay, so there's an area of opportunity. I'm going to pull one more just for you guys. Hold on. One more since it's your birthday. Ooh, what is this? Clearing. You guys might be having a challenge with clearing. Now's the time to do it. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine. 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 To God's. God's. God's such freedom there are some things that you need to let go of okay that's all i have for you guys sagittarius happy birthday 
This has been your reading for, uh, it's November. It's November. I was about to say that. November. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.